Family, friends, and fellow gamers, welcome to Grumpy Gnome Gaming. I'm the Grumpy Gnome. Let's get into some Banished. It has been a few days since we have done this, and you're probably wondering where the heck on the map are we? That's a good question because check it out. We are all the way on the Western Wall. Why are we on the Western Wall? Because we are going to start filling in some of these alcoves, like right here. I got another one right here, another one right here, here, yonder, here, and there be another. You know, wow, we can actually almost exit the map there. But we did some pre planning, and guess what? I am already setting up for expansion to the west, to the north, and to the south, and we've already hit the eastern wall. So in this little alcove, I went ahead and I dropped another forest node. Notice everything in here is paused. And so there's, we're not ready to build this yet by no means, but you know what? It's there, just to give you guys an idea of where we're going with Pangea. Let's get back into our civilized areas. I have done some pre-planning offline. And let's see what I can actually show you that you haven't seen. You know, we got a forest node going on up here. Let's, you know, play. We got a forest node going on up here. And I'm just going to let them build that at their leisure. We're gonna level this area here so we can just kind of keep our building coming around. I went ahead and I dropped these pastures right here. I mean, we're not ready to build them yet or anything like that, but I just kind of, I wanna get an idea of what we're, what's gonna go on beyond the pasture. And that's gonna take us up into another mountain which I have or have not yet decided what we're going to do. This is the summit of the mountain. So what I might do is maybe carve out a little something here. I don't know. It all depends how valuable this land comes becomes. And what are we going to do with our placer mines? and other things that we're going to be putting in over here. Uh, the last time we checked, we got 315 families at 336 homes. So there is still a surplus of homes. But once again, I'm not sweating it because as the buildings get built and the new professions become available, some people are going to be moving out of their house into others, starting new families. So we're not, we're not going to concern ourselves with that. Over here, okay, the two fishing areas seem to be in high operation, which is good. Should we do a quick check here for the um, trading posts just to see if we need anything? We've got the... Do we have strawberry seeds? I'm pretty sure we have all of these. But just in case, because all of my berries are right here. So these are black, these are rasp, and these are straw. We have already got them. Okay, so we don't need the sky. Dismiss. And let's see if we can do this while we're playing. What do you got? You got food, food, more food, and we don't need anything of yours. What do you got? You've got food, food, and more food. We don't need anything of yours. What do you got? Food, food. Wow, I guess this is the um, beans. Here we go. More agave. We don't need agave seeds. Our tequila is doing well. Just out of curiosity. Is it? because I might have to build a second mission district someplace if it's not. Let's go by name. Let's go down to Tequila. 
Yep. There we go. We got thirteen twenty-one tequila. So our our tequila is doing pretty well. It's keeping us sustained, keeping our peeps happy. Also known as bannies for those that are not familiar with this game. What else do we need? Do we need feathers? I don't know. And feathers would be the only. Oh, do we want to get into tobacco? That might be interesting to start a tobacco plantation someplace. You know, that that is at the point where I'm actually willing to give it a shot. What is our greatest food commodity? And let's see if it's going to take it or not. Still maple sap. Will you take maple sap? And what do I... Oh, I wanted beans, too. What's our feathers doing? Feathers, feathers, feathers. Oh, don't make me have to look for you. We'll do this. Feathers. Oh, 5,000. We don't need them. Don't need no feathers. But I'll take your beans and I'll raise you tobacco leaves. Wait, wait. I want tobacco seeds. See, this is interesting here. You can buy for 2,000. Oh, nuts on a biscuit. Let me go ahead and shut that off real fast. Uh... We've got, you can buy tobacco here for 2,000 if you buy it all, or for 1,000 more, you get an endless supply of tobacco. So, and then another thing you gotta realize is do you have the real estate on your map to actually start putting down plantations or not? But in our case, yeah, we're not short of land at all. So we need 3,000 here and 2,500 here for a total of 5,500 <sighs> maple. Where be my maple? There it is. Will you take maple? I'm just going to go ahead and put the number in, 550. And if you take it, oh my gosh, we got us a deal. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and minimize this. And we're just gonna kind of dock you right up here. What are you bringing? Beef cat already got you. Thank you. Let's go ahead and hit play. Get it. Get these guys rolling. And what are you bringing? Copper. You know what? I, I was. I don't want to deal with it. I was gonna say we will start buying the raw materials to make the good stuff. But you know what? I don't want to deal with it. My time's more valuable than doing math right now. All right. Let's move on. We'll let that one... What are you bringing? Hemp. No, you, you know, hemp is in chickpeas. We don't have chickpeas. Do we want garbanzos? I don't know why, but heck, you know what? Will you take, okay, 2,500? I don't think he's going to take food. I almost know he's not. Maple, sap. How much was it? 2,500? No, I didn't think so. Okay. Uh, so what other options do we have? 2,500 divide, um, doo -doo 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 -doo. we can do 125 of these for 1,000, 250 is 2,000, there's 2,000, now I need 500 more of something. I don't even know what linen is worth. I know we're making linen, but I have no idea what it's worth. What are the statues worth? Uh, okay, it's not telling me, so I actually got to plug them in. You know what? Let's do um, two jade. Do we got pearls? 
What? Yeah, we got pearls. So I needed 500 more, and that'll be 50 pearls. That's simple. Pearls, we'll do 50. Okay, and there's my 2,500. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, minimize that. And we'll take that. And you're the one that's up there. What do you got real fast? Herbs, we don't need. Sunflower, we don't need. We don't need sweet potato. We don't need hemp. Get out of here. Let's hit play and let's move on. All right. What are some of the new things that we're doing? I'm glad you asked because it seemed like the last episode really got bogged down with those precious mines. And holy nuts, we got people dying. We're going to be throwing them in the river again. Okay. Time to maybe start scouting out another cemetery plot. This might be a neat place next to the archaeology site <laughs> because, good point, ceremonial grounds and golden llama are a deathbed for adventurers. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and do that. Do we want to, I kind of like that old decrepit one only because it looks different from your standard mm -hmm. issue cemetery is it gonna give us a 19 by 15 nuts I wanted to it's not what I wanted 20 by 15 is that the best we can do probably we'll take 20 by 15 even though it is not optimal Oh, and where's our gate? It looks like our gate is right on the front road, which is a good place for it. That's where we'll put it. So let's cha-ching you down. And you know what else I want to do? I'm probably going to do here. Maybe we'll put another church over here because I see we have no religion and no schools. So next to this archaeology center, let's drop a church and a school and then that way everybody is going to be happy. And I'm doing the small town churches. So let's go ahead and drop you right across from the cemetery like this, cha-ching. And I don't know if I need a school or not, only because we really don't have anybody We don't have anybody living out here unless we start putting some houses like down here but let's go ahead and see what we got uh schools what do we got for schools we could drop the sacred heart in nordic the small town will it fit there with a space on each side yes yes well doggone it that just fits too nicely not to have it and Oh, do I got two spaces? I do have two spaces there, so that's going to drive me nuts. Let's, how about a college? Holy nuts, man. Let's, um, yeah. What do we got here? This is college. What's the medieval school look like? Oh, my, now that, that doesn't, I don't know. Does it fit with the archaeology center? And maybe we should have gone with a different a different church, but I don't know. What's our college look like? Whoa, too big. You is not going to work. But if I would have dropped the college in right there and put the church in on the other side, hmm, that, holy cow crumbs on a biscuit guys I think we just figured something out I, I'm almost willing to run with that yeah let's make that happen so let's go ahead come in here and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna remove this church I'm gonna drop the college in right there which is here go to schools go to college and that college ah you're not the one i wanted you're the one i wanted 
And I think we're going to go ahead and give him, do we want to give him a double walk space there? That might be it. Unless we want to drop a well down over here someplace, but... I don't know. No, maybe... Let's give them a little space there. So we're going to drop the college right there. Now I got a cemetery going in here. Got a college here, which is going to really, you know, make this place like an educational center. And let's come up to the road. And look at that. Perfect. Right across. Just like that. We'll drop down secondary road here. And I don't think there's any fillers. Nope, no fillers needed. Okay, groovy cool. Let's find out where we're going to drop our church. Because, well, we could probably stick it in this corner right up here. Or we build it out over here. Let's find out where it looks better. And then this is probably going to be a housing community down here. I don't know yet. Once again, I am not one to do blind planning. This really, 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 really works me. Okay, where's my small town church? That's you. Or do we want to get something a bit more rust, um, stony looking? I know this thing is freaking huge. And it doesn't fit in our village. But, oh, there's the end of my, that's where it would go. Once again, wait, I just think that is way too big for what we've got going on. Uh, you're too small. I don't like you because you don't hold people. Central Church is probably even bigger. I know this is even bigger. Nuts on a biscuit. And we got a parish. I think we're just going to go with small town again and maybe drop small town back here. And it looks like we need to do a little bit of flattening. You know what? Let's hold off on the church. We don't need a church right away. Oh, start moving, guys. We're not going to put a church in right away. We'll hold off on that for now. We will determine what to do with that later. But this is a nice little educational center now that we can work with. Okay, let's come on down and see what else we did. Oh, my eyes got the twitch right now. Oh, man. Okay, so, okay, they're collecting out in the fields. We got this node going on here. We got this node. What's Okay, no, this is, check it out. This is what has become of our new mining area. I went ahead and I added some things here. So now we have a total of one, two, three, four, five mines in this area. Over here I've got one gem cutter and as soon as the autosave kicks off, we have a second gem cutter in this area. I don't know if what they pull out of here goes into a stockpile or if it goes into a barn. So I actually put both of those in over here. And we will figure that one out. And then these are all tiny shacks. So when we get ready to open this area up for population, we got them living right here in their area. And we're probably going to have to put some type of a market like right around this area just to... Um, just to support all of these places. So that's another thing I did. Okay, coming down here, what is this? I have no idea what's going on there. It looks like we cut into a mountain. But you know what, let's just do this little number here. Let's 
Let's do that and see what happens. See if it gets pretty. Alrighty. This is going to be another node, but you know I'm going to do this offline because I don't want to bore you guys with it. Another, this looks like it's going to be a double node, probably one on top of another here. By the time we get the mines placed on the outside, we probably will not need this. So we'll go ahead and we'll be flat earthers again and bring that down. This node here is up in operation, so that's kind of cool. And there are other things I have slated here that we're going to get to or that I want to show you. This is one of them right here. And it looks like they have already flattened it. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is come in. We're going to remove that. Let's zoom in a little bit so we can actually see what's going on. I'm going to take my road. You might as well stone it because we're all doing stones now. Come all the way across. And you know what? I'm just going to go right to about there. And then wherever this one comes down. Right there. There we go. Close enough. And do I need to drop in another three piece? Flip it. Let's zoom in a little bit so we can see what we're doing. Okay, dun dun. There's three, and right there, yep, that's exactly a three piece. Bloop, pop, pop it in. And what I am going to do now with this little stretch of beach right here, we're going to go back for some big dollar items. We're going to go into the old tools or the old, um, what do you want to call it, buildings. And we got this really cool thing here called a shipyard. Now the shipyard, we are actually going to get into. That sucks that I see the way that that's placed now. Because it almost looks like... No, I could see it. They probably drop it sideways into the water. So, anyway... Oh, come on. How I had you working before. Okay, we're going to have to figure out what's going on here. Um, are you guys moving at one speed? You sure are. What happened? An orchard has developed an infestation. Really? All right. Cut. 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 All right. So, for some reason, it didn't like this. And the only thing I can think about, really? The only thing I can think about is maybe I need to put one more layer of gravel or dirt on top of that. So, see, that's really going to irk me if this doesn't work, because I really thought offline it did. Okay. Yeah. Something's not working here. Let's try one thing first and pull the road back. That way we're not dropping another layer of gravel down. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to remove this road. 
Let's go like that. And then let's put let's drop the the shipyard in. And all of a sudden it fits. Now here's the deal. How far off the road am I? One, two. Okay, so technically speaking, if I go two more up, I will be able to put my road in straight here. Let's try that. And once again, this is scary as heck because if you mess up with these, um, If you mess up with the, okay, there's, let's see, one, whoa, one, two, right there. So we actually want to go three. Oh, nuts on a biscuit. Oh, man, now I don't know what the heck I'm doing. No, come on down. Let's go next to you. One, two, three, and then come across. And I'm going to come all the way across to... Oh, it's not going to let me... Oh, there we go. Here we go. Ouch. That hurt. Because I have no idea what's going to happen here. Let's go ahead and take that. Take that out. Uh, take this out. We should be able to put our shipyards in. They should line up with the road. Just like that. And how many can we get in? One there. Let's go all the way across. Now that's going nicely. Normally it's jumping all over the place. Another one there, and then what kind of space do we have here? Space one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's not gonna fit perfectly. Seven. If I go three on each side, Okay, one, two, three, drop it in, one, two, three, oh my gosh, perfect, that worked, dang, I love it when things come together, all right, man, we have just got three shipyards dropped. I'm having an old man moment here. I don't know. I, I, my alarm did not go off yet. Stone Road. Yeah, we're going to stone you back across like that. And holy nuts, Batman. We now have a shipyard. Okay, guys. What else is going on? Oh, well, over here. Where was it? There was something we were going to do. Oh, I was going to wait until winter. What I want to, you know, eight by eight is the optimum size. I'm sorry, sorry. 11 by 11 is the optimum size for one person. But I've got all this dead space up here. So my options are to either expand these or I can road those off and maybe put some more honey producers up there. And that is starting to sound like maybe a better idea. So let me grab some stonage here. We'll come across like this. And then up here, we'll probably put some honey producers. We still have all these. That's another thing I did down here. Remember we talked a couple episodes ago about putting animal pens in? We did it. There we go. So we got here, we got the eggs. Here we've got eggs. There's my thing. God, isn't it weird the way I, you know, just so 
kind of subliminally know that that's going to happen. So we got three egg pens, we've got three milk pens, and then I got three wool pens. Now the wool pens are going to support these three tailors right here. The eggs, you know what, the best thing coming out, hey, yo, yo, shut up, shut up. Man, I'm talking about chickens and they're getting scared. The thing that's coming out of these egg pens is probably feathers because this guy here is making the survival coats, so he'll be using the feathers. The milk pens, we may want to go ahead and drop another dairy or two back here. And what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to drop a row of houses behind here to match so that they match up with these because these are three by threes and the forest homes and the barns are also three by threes. So I'm going to drop another row of houses and barn back here and maybe below that on the outskirts down here we'll go ahead and drop in a dairy or two or five. No, not five. Okay. A node here. Can't do a node here. And this node is going to bump into this. So this is this area here is already taken with nodes. So my only build space is really this little area here. And then what's below here. There was one more area I wanted to show you. Okay, it looks like we brought this down a little further. So let's go ahead and get rid of you. Oh, where was that last bit of piece I wanted to show you? Over here, we extended the double road down to here. So we can go ahead and take that out already. Oh my goodness, we are just cooking right along. Up here, we dropped in a second potter. So we got Harry Potter number one and Harry Potter number two. To support these buildings, I went ahead and I dropped in two more houses and I dropped in a market right here. That's going to basically take care of this area. And this is self-sufficient. I had one more big area slated for removal. But you know what? If I can't find it here, I'm not going to sweat it. We'll get to it later. Oh, let's play. Watch how that infestation works itself out. Now, I'm already cutting everything there. So, I mean, you guys got to deal with it. There we go. Everything's gone. Infestation should go away. It looks like it did. Perfect. All right, man. They'll rebuild. Last thing we might want to do is check our trading posts up here. Let's go ahead and open you up. Everything is there. We wanted chickpeas. I never bought turnips, did I? Why do they have two times turnip speeds? Anyway, not worried about that. 250 there. We're going to go ahead and do 50 here. That's going to get us our total. We're going to trade that. We're going to dismiss you. Okay, let's close you down. See, this is so cool the way that they're coming in here. And they're going to have docks on both sides. Once again, I'm not in a hurry to build these docks because I've got so much slated for building right now. And I don't, I don't even have time to look at the uh, stuff that they're bringing in. What did we want? We wanted the tobacco and we wanted the beans. And you're still not at 20 or at 5,000. So you know what? You keep going. I am going to make one more ill attempt to find the area that I slated for. I really thought it was on the water. It wasn't there. It wasn't there. I don't think it was further down here. Ah, oh, nuts. Nuts, nuts, nuts on a biscuit. Sing it with me, guys. Uh, anyway. 
start singing that, your parents are probably going to think something's wrong with you. Here we go. Uh, salt works. You know what? Let's do it. Let's get one guy in here. Let's get one. Uh, if we do two here, they'll actually jump. And one guy will fill in the next one over here. That's kind of the way they work. Come on, jump in there. Jump in there. Ah, uh, you idiot. Well, let's do this. Bring you down to one. And then put in another one. There you go. Forced labor. Gotta love it. There we go. All right, salt works is working here. Salt works is working here. Oh, stone? No, thank you. More salt. And we got three in there? I don't think so. I only want one. Okay. And you know what? This will give us a nice opportunity to also check to see what does this produce compared to what these produce over here. Okay, well, I think what we've decided to do here was crisscross this. Are these like right? Okay, we do have a stockpile here. If that is three wide, that would be so awesome because what I'll do is just come right out the middle and build a dock out. If it's not three, if it's only two, that's going to drive me nuts. And I'm going to come out from this dock, which I'm going to do anyways. So. We can go ahead and already take our three count. Gosh, I'm running out of time. I know it. We're going to have to close this down. So one, two, and that'll get me close. This one here can come down a little bit further. Of course, I can't see what I'm doing. Zoom in a little more. Come on down. Okay. And then we'll close that in. More likely than not, and this almost looks like a launching pad, this one coming out here. If I build this across to, say, right about here, I should be able to drop in another fishing dock right here that's going to encapsulate this. It's going to look something like and like that. And we're just going to have to find the uh, the nice point where that's going to come off. Or I'll just yeah, I'll probably build it off of this one coming down and I'll park it like right there. And then we've got us another fishing area also. So that's kind of cool. All right, guys, I think that's where we're going to call it. We do have, uh, let's play this out. We do have some more stuff that we need to plant over here. I mean, now we got some beans going. And might as well just go ahead and drop them in. What else we got? Uh, squash. Oh, we got chickpeas. Oh, we didn't get the beans yet. But you know what? Chickpeas will work. And we are now at 100 farmers. Dun 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 dun. Alright, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please give me a like. If you didn't, give me a sympathy like anyway. If you have not yet subscribed, please do so. If you do subscribe, or if you have, please tell 10 people. I know you know 10 people. And I know that you're talking to those 10 people. So please support me in that way. Whoa, what do we got here? Oh, more of those dock workshops. That's right, because there's no way in heck one workshop is going to be able to handle all of these reeds. So we're going to go here, and rope is our industry. And rope is our industry. Um, hey, firewood's coming up. See, so we don't need to make fire bundles. So let's go one, two, three, four, and then we had two more reed farms down here also. So this place is going to kick out rope like you have never seen. All right. That's it, guys. I'm out of here. In five, four, three, two, one. Stop. Take care. Bye-bye.